So I decided that I really want to plan a dinner party. I've lived in this apartment for about a year and a half now and I invite people over all the time. My friends come over all the time, but I've never had like an event at this apartment. Well, not really. And I have a beautiful space that's all mine and I feel like I need to be doing some more hosting. I've been thinking about it and I already know the theme that I wanna go for. And the theme for this dinner party is going to be a celebration of platonic love and friendship. I want to throw a dinner party for my best friends of over a decade. I feel like I talk about friendship and sisterhood a lot in my content because not only is it something that means a lot to me personally, but I think that it is something that goes under celebrated in our culture. I think that romantic love is very upheld as the most important form of love and I just disagree with that. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love seeing people in love, I love the idea of love, I love romantic movies, romantic songs, romantic everything. I love romantic love. However, I think that romantic love is accurately rated. You know what I mean? Friendship, however, is severely underrated. <laughs> romantic love and relationships get enough free press. I think that we need to be celebrating friendships and platonic love a little more because behind every successful and healthy relationship is a ton of healthy friendships that keep both of those two people afloat so that they can best love each other as well. We all need people. You need more than just a partner in your life. You need friends. And I just don't think that we celebrate the beauty of friendship nearly enough. Couples have Valentine's Day, anniversaries, fucking even the major holidays get co-opted into relationship holidays. I've had enough with Christmas movies that are focused on a couple. Where are the Christmas movies about true friendship? And I just think that we deserve more opportunities to celebrate our friendships, to let people know what they mean to us, and to love on our friends just as much as we would love on a partner. God damn it. <laughs> So I think the first thing on my to-do list here is going to be to send out cute little invitations to each of my besties. I think I want to send them a bouquet of purple flowers with a little note inside the flowers because that feels very me. And honestly, who doesn't like receiving flowers? Name one person. Don't try. I don't care if you know someone who doesn't like flowers. <laughs> flowers in the whole world. So I just got some beautiful flowers. I'm sure from my beautiful friend Maddie. She sent me flowers and I'm so excited. There's a little note so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's in here. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cute. You are formally invited to a dinner party in celebration of platonic love and friendship. Hosted by yours truly, Maddie. You are so important and always will be. Here's to over a decade of friendship. How cute. Oh my God. And of course, purple flowers because like what other color would they be? This is so cute. Thank you for my flowers. They're so beautiful. Okay, this is the best party invite I've ever received. <laughs> this is so sweet. Thanks for making me feel so loved. Before we get deeper into dinner party planning, let me introduce today's sponsor, which is our friends over at Base. I'd like to formally announce that you right now are coming face to face with the world's most impressive overpacker. It's a skill of mine, so good I could put it on my resume. And my new favorite bag to overpack in is this beautiful weekender bag from BASE. BASE was created to make sleek and affordable bags and luggage to help you travel effortlessly while looking fashionable at the very same time. BASE has thought about pretty much everything that you could ever want in a piece of luggage with 360 degree gliding wheels and a built-in weight indicator on their larger bags, a cushioned handle, washable bags for your dirty clothes, and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. I'm planning on doing quite a bit of back and forth between New York and Boston this holiday season. That's where my family lives. And a bag of this size is 
perfect to take on the Amtrak train. When I travel back home for the holidays, I do take my cat Mango with me, so it is much easier for me to travel as light as possible rather than taking a huge suitcase with me traveling with a bag like this. Instead, it's a lot easier for me to travel that way. So if you or someone you love is in the market for a new, sleek, affordable travel bag, you can head to basetravel.com slash party like Maddie. And right now they are offering viewers of my channel 15% off their first purchase. Again, that's basetravel.com slash party like Maddie for 15% off. B-E-I-S travel.com slash party like Maddie. And thank you again to Base for sponsoring today's video. So I've been thinking about redoing my kitchen area for quite some time now. I want to say that I started talking about it in like the beginning of the summer. So I've sat on this for a while and now seems like the perfect time to make some moves here. So as you can see, this is my current kitchen setup. I have a high top table and two chairs. Originally I went with a high top table because I don't have a ton of kitchen counter space. So I thought it'd be smart to have something that acts as some additional counter space. But the truth is, is that I just don't cook that extravagant of meals, so I really don't need more counter space. <laughs> and I never sit there, ever. I think the chairs are uncomfortable. I don't like sitting up that high. It's just not my thing. I would prefer to have a low to the ground dining table where I can put four chairs around it so that I can enjoy my meals there, but also I can host more gatherings with my friends. I already know exactly what I want. So let me show you what I'm gonna buy. <laughs> For the dining table, I went with this plain solid oak dining table from Wayfair. I knew that I wanted just a plain wood table and I like how the edges of this table jut out farther than the legs. There were a few cheaper ones on Wayfair where the edge of the table was also where the legs are, but I just don't love the look of that. I like how it goes a little bit longer. So this is what I went with. Then for chairs, I knew that I wanted this style of chair with like the rattan backing. Then it was just a matter of deciding if I wanted to go with colorful cushions or with some more neutral leather cushions. I ended up deciding on going with these blue velvet cushions. I have pillows on my couches that match this exact color and I just thought it would be a fun new addition to the general color theme and tones that I already have going in this area of my house. It feels so weird having this much space in my apartment to move about, but I got my new table and chairs. So I'm about to set them up. I'm so excited. Literally worked out so good. I just posted my old table and chairs on like the building group chat and within 15 minutes, my neighbors were like, I'll take it. I was like, please fucking do. Because if there's one thing that I hate, it's trying to sell things or mail things. I'll give it to you for free. Just get it out of my house. I'm so excited to have actual chairs and a dining setup. Back at some of my old apartments, I hosted Friendsgivings and we would go out and like rent a table and chairs, which is expensive by the way, but it was like, oh, it's a holiday, it's Thanksgiving, like let's do something fun. And um, I've just so missed doing stuff like that. I used to throw game nights all the time too. So I might start hosting again. I mean, crazy. Growing up, my family's house was always the host house. Like if I was hanging out with my friends, we were usually gonna hang out at my house. Uh, my parents hosted every single like big family gathering, every Thanksgiving, every Christmas. Like it's always been at my own house. And so I think that sort of bled onto me as an adult. And now I love hosting. I would rather have events be inside my own home than at strangers' houses. Not strangers, my friends. I love going to my friends' houses, but I would prefer to go to my own. <laughs> it took me two hours to put all these chairs together and I'm pretty sure I spent a full hour on the last chair because it just, the screws would not go in. So it's nine o'clock, I'm gonna order dinner right now and I hope to God it takes me about 20 minutes to assemble this table. Oh my God! I did it. It took me so long, but I did it. And honestly, I'm so happy with this. So now that I have the big pieces, the furniture is here, I need to think about dressing the table and how to style 
this table just right for a little dinner party. All right, next up on my to-do is going to be building a Pinterest board for the party. How am I gonna dress the table? What kind of vibe am I going for? What do I need to purchase to achieve said vibe? Number one thing that I know I wanna have is a surplus of candlesticks in funky colors and funky holders. I already have quite a few of these at my apartment and this is an excuse for me to buy a couple more. There's not really a color scheme that I'm going for here. Part of what I love about some of the photos that I've already pinned on my hosting board is how colorful they are and the range of colors that they're showcasing. I think my living room in general is pretty colorful. So I kind of just want to build off of the style that I already have in my apartment. I do love just having the wood table on its own by itself. So I don't know if I'm going to get a tablecloth or not, but what I do know is that I want to get placemats and matching napkins. On top of that is I really love these colorful, funky uh, wine glasses or not even wine glasses, more like cocktail glasses. Oh, wow. That's a new wall. They're building something next door to me and I just like, like didn't fully even notice until right this very moment that they've made a lot of progress there. Okay, cool, good, good for them. <laughs> I've been needing an excuse to buy some colorful cocktail glasses for a minute now. I've just got like plain wine glasses and that's it. So I thought it'd be fun to get a uh, assortment of colors for these funky glasses. I ended up finding them at Anthropology, and I also wanted to get some new plates for the occasion as well. So I got these purple blue ish pasta plates from anthropology and then i got some assorted color little appetizer and dessert plates that i just found on amazon i'll link everything that i end up buying in this video down below obviously another big part of the photos that i have on this board are floral arrangements some of them have them displayed in cute little vases and others just have them sort of scattered along the center of the table i kind of like the scattered look i have a few vases already in my apartment that i might try to experiment with when I set up the table. I'm a little worried that there's gonna be too much going on and it's gonna block the view between me and the people across the table from me. Um, additionally, there is some part of me that is nervous about flowers catching on fire because of the candlesticks. So I might just sort of opt for flowers resting on the table in the middle. Um, but that's definitely gonna be like a game time decision that we make. And I think obviously another part of the photos that I found that I love is the sort of custom menus that you put on the table setting for each person. I feel like usually that's a wedding thing, but I think it's very cute to do for a dinner party as well. So I want to have a menu that I'll write on one side of cardstock. And then on the other side, I wanna write a little note to each one of my friends, just little personalized notes on the backs of their menus. I thought that would be super cute. So I'll have like a little name card so they know which seat they're supposed to sit in. And I also thought it'd be fun to get like a tiny little gift for each of them. So I'm gonna go head over to my local little useless belonging shop, Friends NYC. <laughs> I'm there all the time because they have a lot of good home decor stuff, but they also have a lot of great little trinkets and gifts. It's like basically one big Urban Outfitters home section is what that store is. So that's what I'm thinking right now. That's the general sort of vibe look I'm going for. And now I just have to wait for the things that I ordered to come in the mail and make my way over and retrieve some sort of gift for each of my friends. Gave me a free joint with my purchase. I don't smoke, so I don't really don't know what to do with it, but and now I have one. I don't <laughs> in my head I'm like, well, should I try it? I haven't smoked since college, and it makes me ridiculously anxious, which is why I hate it. But I'm like, maybe if I was by myself, just gave it a go. It's also not a habit I really want to develop. Even if I did like it, I don't want to know that I like it. And now I have to figure out what the fuck to do with it. 
Okay, I just got in the dining stuff that I bought from Anthropology, and I'm a little nervous because when I picked up the boxes, I think I heard glass rattling around, so it might have arrived broken. But we're gonna hope that it's just some things and not everything because the dinner party's tomorrow. Please, please just be one thing and not all the things. Maybe I was wrong. These all seem to be relatively secure. Now I have to open up each individual box. I'm stressed out. Cake stand appears to be good. See, that doesn't sound great to me. Okay, these are the plates. I think it's just one that's broken though. One broken plate. Okay, that's honestly, I'm not psyched that I got a broken plate, but that's relieving because for a moment there, I thought that it was all of them. But why was that one not wrapped? Like the rest of them are wrapped individually. Anthropology, I have some words. These are so cute though. I feel like on camera, they're looking a little bit more gray, but in person, it's like a lovely little lilac. That's the only thing that's broken. I'm still having a good day. Okay, this is what I'm truly the most excited about. Woo! I'm so happy that I got them in assorted colors. These are the perfect dinner party glasses. Come on now. Cheers, besties. Now I just need to figure out what my cocktail of choice is gonna be for this menu. I figure we'll do like one specialty cocktail that I'll make for everyone and then after that first round, we'll just switch to wine. You know, we'll start drinking Prosecco like normal people. Who is texting me? Hello, Dusty. <laughs> All right, day of the party, we're making some moves. I just made little name plates for everyone so that everyone will know where their seat is. And then I started making the menus. I'll have this on the front. I'm gonna fill it in after we get back from the grocery store and then I have space to write everyone a note on the back. So now we just have to go and get these damn ingredients. Ashley's here. So Ashley's helping me. So true, bestie. We're gonna do like a cheese board for the app. Gonna do like a, I have a bunch of wine, people can drink whatever they want, but I do wanna make like a, a special little drink. So I'm thinking like a gin fizz moment and we're gonna call it the bestie and it's gonna be purple. And then for the main, I think we're just gonna make penne a la vodka with meatballs. Now we need to make our way over to Trader Joe's and buy everything. Before the sun goes down and we have to start getting the food ready, I wanted to write some notes to all of my friends. So first up, we've got Ashley. So that's like 17 or 18 years now. We're going on two decades. And Ashley is like another half of my brain. <laughs> Ashley knows absolutely everything about me. I have grown so much as a person because I'm her friend. I think that she just has set the bar for friendships in my life really, really high. And she did it from day one, from the first grade, baby. Ashley's brilliant. She's so smart. She's so hardworking. She's so creative and fun and optimistic. And I feel like I've, I've learned a lot about how to be a good friend, a loyal friend through loving her. Next up, we have Kayla. Kayla and I met in the seventh grade. We were 12 or 13 in a hip hop dance class. We were menaces back then. We were so fucking rude. <laughs> and from the day I met Kayla, our friendship has just been full of fun and laughter. I feel like the two of us are absolutely ridiculous together. Um, we went through our One Direction phases together. We met One Direction together. We went and saw them like, all the time when we were in high school. I feel like Kayla is really someone that I got to be a kid with, or I feel like we have so many just like fun, stupid memories. And 
I got so lucky that Kayla also went to college in New York and now lives here as well. So it was so nice, like growing up with Kayla, doing all the fun, stupid, dorky parts of life as a teenager with Kayla, and then getting to grow up together in New York and go through college and post-grad. I feel really lucky that we ended up in the same city together. Next up, we have August. August and I met in the sixth grade. We were paired together as dance partners in our middle school production of Grease, and the rest is history. <laughs> August is like my go-to person whenever I want to try a new restaurant or do something fun. August is down for fucking anything. Something I love about August is how excited we can be together. I think I'm someone who gets really excited about little things in life. Like I discovered this tiny little restaurant in a random neighborhood in Brooklyn that has the best French onion soup allegedly and I just really want to go try it. August is the person that not only is gonna be down, but will meet my level of enthusiasm for this random ass French onion soup. I think that they are just so easy to be around. I feel like very at ease with August. And then last up, we have Destiny. Destiny and I met on YouTube when we were 13 years old. We had our first Skype call on October 30th, 2010. Destiny was helping me edit my Kiss Britney's Boyfriend's stop motion music video. <laughs> and after that Skype call, we just kept calling each other. And Destiny and I pretty much Skyped or we were on iChat, we were on tiny chat with each other, like most days <laughs> all throughout middle and high school. I think especially in like eighth grade and freshman year and sophomore year, like I used to get yelled at. My parents would be so mad at me because I would stay up till like 5 a.m. on Skype with Destiny. Doing what? I literally have no idea. But we had so much fucking fun. We went through our fangirl phases together. We went through our Tumblr phases together. Like every era of the internet, um, Destiny and I were doing it together. <laughs> I think like creatively, Destiny has had a major impact on me. I think that she has like such a talent for design and aesthetics. She's a friend of mine who's also very interested in fashion. A lot of the photos that you see of me online, if they're not taken by me on Self Timer, they're taken by Destiny. I've always admired that Destiny is someone who balances being incredibly strong and courageous with being very, uh, soft and gentle. The joy of meeting your internet bestie. So I've got everyone's notes done and now it's just time to start getting the apartment ready and start cooking. People are gonna be over in about two hours, so it's about that time. Table's mostly set up, and we've got Chef Ash cooking away, baby. Strange man comes up on yeah, yeah. like, oh, our friend. It's a George friend. 
This dinner party was so much fun and so creatively fulfilling to sort of throw myself into planning the past couple weeks. And I think I want to make this a regular thing now. I think I would love to throw like a monthly dinner party with a different theme every single month. So maybe that'll be a goal of mine for 2023 is to do monthly dinner parties. And there'll be a different theme every single time. So I'll invite different people every single time. I think it could be a great way to really appreciate and cherish and show love to the people that are already in my life and that I spend a lot of my time with and also rekindle old friendships, make new friendships and just invite people over to my home that I've spent so much time decorating and have a nice little bonding moment. Have some heart to hearts over wine and hopefully food that tastes good. Don't lie to me though. <laughs> That's it for this video. If you love watching my content, if you want to see more of me, you want to hear more about what I'm up to and what I'm doing, you can listen to my podcast, Emotionally Online, available anywhere you get your podcasts and on YouTube every Friday. Used to be Wednesdays, now it is Fridays. <laughs> and quick reminder that I have merch now. What the fuck? I have two beautiful shirts and one beautiful crew neck available for purchase right now. So it's a nice little Christmas gift to yourself or someone that you love. And I'm so excited to see you guys wearing them soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.